Hey YouTube and thank you for watching Junkworks DIY Garage. I have decided to go back and start revamping some of my older videos. Uh, a couple reasons. YouTube is really not paying well right now and uh, so that will kind of give me some content that I can put up instead of putting new videos up three times a week because I just can't keep up that kind of content and do the kind of videos I want to do. Without further ado, let's get to it. Uh, just showing you, I gotta cut this bolt off and I'm showing you an easy way to chase the threads here after you get that done. Uh, don't forget your safety goggles first of all. Also, I don't have any gloves on. I'm not a fan of uh, using gloves around spinning objects. I don't think it's safe. You do it the way you want to do it. As you can see, the threads are kind of all bunged up there. So, clean that up a little bit. And if you see here, I put a nut on here. So that when we come up with this nut here, it'll actually chase the threads for you. So you can get it off and on. If you, See how it's kind of hard right now? So putting one on would be really difficult if I hadn't done that. Let's take this. Bring it off of there. And as you can see, it came off. And hopefully, it should go back on again. It's a little stiff, but it'll definitely go on there. So anyway, that's the easy way of chasing your threads after you cut a nut or, or a, cut a bolt and uh, works real well. Well, thanks for watching Junkworks DIY Garage where I'm proud to say I'm a jack of all and master of none. You all have a good one.